In a previous video, we looked at how to name organic compounds. Today, we're going to look at uh, some specific organic compounds and something they can form together. So, if we have this functional group, OH, that is the alcohol functional group, and this functional group here, that is the carboxylic acid functional group. Uh, now, they can form very specific kinds of bonds. So, I have here, for example, an alcohol and a carboxylic acid. These boxes just represent an unknown carbon chain. So this could be ethanol, methanol, butanol, propanol, this could be pentanoic acid, methanoic acid, anything like that. Uh, the important part is the functional group. So these can form a type of bond and they can form a type of bond called an ester bond. And an ester bond is an example of a condensation reaction. If we take a look at the two functional groups, we've got an O, an H, an H, and an O. Now, if we take away two of those H's and one of those O's, well, we get H2O, water. This is a condensation reaction. When you form a ester bond, you lose a molecule of water and you form this bond here. So this particular example, I've taken methanol and ethanoic acid and joined them together in uh, a bond called an ester bond. Now in order to do that, you need to use a catalyst. The catalyst is concentrated sulfuric acid. Now esters are a very interesting class of chemical. They smell sweet, they have interesting flavors. They use as artificial flavoring and artificial scents in industry all the time. They're also very naturally occurring uh, in fruits and flowers and things like that. They are often given their smell by esters. There's loads of different kinds of esters, depending on the alcohol and the carboxylic acid that you use to form them. Uh, you need to know how to give them a name. So they follow this format. It's important to remember that esters are not a homologous series. They are made from two different homologous series joined together, so they actually have two parts to their name. The first part is the name of the alcohol, and you add the suffix "-ile". The second part is the name of the acid that you used, and you add the suffix "-anoate". If you're not sure which side came from the carboxylic acid and which side came from the alcohol, look for the double bond. The double bond tells you the carbon chain that was the carboxylic acid. The one without the double bond was the alcohol. So in my example here, I used methanol and I used ethanoic acid. So this would be called methyl from the methanol ethanoid, methyl ethanoid. And that is how you name esters. Don't forget, you always lose a molecule of water. This can also be used to make a certain type of polymer called a condensation polymer, which we'll look at in a later video.